Three years ago, Monica Mathis's dog, Hazel, went missing from Iowa. I really like, thought she was gone. I never thought that I would see her again. But last week, on her day off, Monica went online from her home in Minnesota. I was missing from Iowa. Three years ago, Monica Mathis's dog, Hazel, went missing from Iowa. I really like, thought she was gone. I never thought that I would see her again. But last week, on her day off, Monica went online from her home in Minnesota. I was scrolling on Facebook pretty much and saw a story about beer cans with pictures of adoptable dogs from Manatee County Animal Services. The cans are from MotorWorks Brewing, and one particular dog named Day Day caught her eye. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's my dog. Without wasting any time, she called Manatee County Animal Services. I had a doubt. I was like, oh my gosh, this looks like her, but is it? You know, is it really her? I saw photos and vet records, and this dog uh, was such an important member of her family that she had everything we needed to know that she is, in fact, the owner. Including information for her microchip. Turns out Day Day was really Monica's Hazel. When Hazel came through the doors here at Manatee County Animal Services, she did have a microchip. And when staff scanned it, it came back with the name Monica Mathis. But when they tried to track her down, her contact information was out of date and they could never find her. It's just a great reminder for people when they do these things to always go into their profile and make sure that all their contact information is up to date. After Hazel went missing, Monica and her family moved to Minnesota. She lost the information for the microchip and was never able to update her contact info. Tonight, she hopes her story gives others a reminder and hope. Make sure your information is updated on the, the microchip and don't ever give up. In Manatee County, Kimberly Quizon, Fox 13 News.